Let's practice plotting some stars. Okay, if you know two, two properties of a star, that's sufficient so that you can plot that star on the HR diagram. Any two properties, okay? Any two properties. A star A has a luminosity of 100,000, okay? I just made up a star. So luminosity, 100,000. Temperature, 4,000. Okay. Plot it on the HR diagram, and then you can ask these other questions about it. What is the spectral type of that star? What is the color of that star? What is the spectral type? Star B. Star B has a spectral type of B6 and size 10 times larger than the sun. So size is 10 times larger. And we can also ask similar questions, okay? As long as you know two pieces of information, okay? So the, what, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to that HR diagram uh, that you have, HR diagram example uh, from my, my website. So where would star A go? If uh, 100,000, temperature 4,000 Kelvin. So we would find 4,000 Kelvin, we would go up, See, they take this line and then take it straight up. Okay, take it straight up. So, until you get to 100,000. Where's 100,000? Uh, what's 100,000 in terms of scientific notation? Let's see here. 10 to the power 5. Okay? So, where would that go? See here the luminosity? See 1? 10 to the 1, 10 to the 2nd, 10 to the 3rd, 10 to the 4th, 10 to the 5. Go over there, go over there. Okay? So how far to the right do I go? Well, until I get to 4,000 Kelvin, you see? So where was 4,000 Kelvin? 4,000 Kelvin, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. T the 10th line. The 10th line is 4,000. So let's go over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, right there. The star happens to be light right there at the intersection. You see? That's where star A would go. 4,000 Kelvin, 100,000 luminosity. Now, can we answer the other uh, questions? Size is easy to answer. What is its size? What, what diagonal line does it lie on? 1,000. So the, that star is a thousand times brighter, a thousand times bigger than the sun, you see? What's the Hipparchus scale luminosity? Go to the right, negative five, negative 10. What's in between negative five and negative 10? Okay, somewhere like negative seven, negative eight. It's not gonna be exactly, in, exactly, exactly between because the Hipparchus scale is a logarithmic scale. So. For every unit of uh, 100, there's a unit of 5, you see? So this is a star that's 10,000 times brighter, a star that's a million times brighter. So this is more likely to be around negative 7, let's say. Not exactly in between. So approximately negative 7. What's its color index? 1.4. See, 2.0, 1.4, 0.8, 0.6. So it's going to look like a red orange star, you see? So its color index would be 1.4. What is its color? Uh, it's probably going to be around somewhere between red or red orange, you know? Red or red orange. Mm. What is its spectral type? Okay, now go down. Go down. To the tenth line, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. See, that was 4,000 Kelvin. So, what is it? K5. K0, K1, K2, K3, K4, K5. That's 4,000 Kelvin. Okay? So, it's spectral type K5. Okay? So, we were able to practice that just by giving you two pieces of information about that star. 
Let's plot this one. A star is B6, the size is 10. Where would that go? Okay, B6. B0, B1, B2, B3, B4, B5, B6. Size is 10. So we got to go up. I'm not putting my finger on it. Right there, huh? Right there. Size is 10, you see that? So wherever B6 and 10 meet, that's star B right there. OK, somewhere here, you see. Now, what, is it, what can we answer about that? What is its luminosity? OK, it's going to be 8 times 10 to the third, you see? If we go across, 8 times 10 to the third as bright as the sun. So it's going to be about 8,000 times brighter than the sun. You see? It was here. Now, if we go to the other side, what is the Hipparchus scale? About a negative 4, let's say, not quite negative 5. So the Hipparchus scale luminosity, Hipparchus luminosity, negative 4. OK? OK, what else? OK, we can go down. Remember, the star was here. Uh, here. Now we can go down. It was B6, right? We can approximate its temperature. Uh, 10,000, let's see, B6, that's about 18,000 Kelvin probably. About 18,000 Kelvin. Because it's colder than, looks like it's colder than 20,000, you see. 20,000 would be here. What else do we, can we do? And then its color. Its color index would be, if we go up, if we go up, its color index would be 0 or negative 0.1. Color index around negative 0.1. So you see, as, the idea is as soon as you know two properties of a star, you can know where that star is, and then you can answer what is its luminosity, what is its spectral type, what is its size, what is its temperature, what is its color, and all of that stuff, you see? So you just need two properties of a star. That's why this diagram is a very useful diagram. It packs all that information in there. Okay, now coming to the particular assignment that I want you to do.